Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to The X-Files Season 2, Episode 2. We're continuing Season 2, you guys. Whew. After the last episode, I don't know where we're going, but I'm excited to see where we do go. So, um, I'm not going to waste much time here. Just a reminder to go check out Patreon, link down below in the description box. If you want to see multiple weeks ahead right now, fully unedited, uncovered, on un everything. Just me and the video. The whole episode. Check it out. Also, you get... Patreon exclusive shows like Battlestar Galactica, Succession, Attack on Titan, and a couple others that are only on Patreon. So go check that out, okay? Other than that, without further ado, here we go. Ooh, we're on a ship in the Atlantic Ocean. By New Jersey, okay. Oh, it's blood. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that one always has to do the terrible smelly job. Ew. Ew. That is not a job I would want. Not worth it. This gives me PTSD to something, a story I will have to tell you guys another time from years ago. Oh, oh, whoa. There's someone living in the sewage tank. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh, 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 god. Yes, flash it. Get whatever's in there out. Women in this thing. It's using, it's using the ship to travel to the States. Something hop aboard. Oh, so. He's having a lot of fun, not bored at all. Yeah, you gotta test the water. You're somewhere you're wet. There's no physics and safety. I still never understood this the whole seed thing. Agent Boulder? Yeah. You're being relieved from your current assignment. Oh. Agent Bo's off to take over. Is he getting put on X Files case? You're flying out of national. You're contacting Newark at Detective Norman. How'd I draw the assignment? Assistant Director Skinner made the request. Ooh. Skinner. If that unusual and weird that they need him. Who else are you gonna put though? We say they also got Scully as well. My forensics team's just wrapping up. We left the body where we found it. Kenny! This is one case I'm gonna be happy to turn over to you guys. Oh, you need boots. Ew. That's... Oh, I'm getting PTSD again. To, uh, something I'll tell you at... I'll tell you at the end after the episode. Cut the smell if you don't breathe through your mouth. Yeah, that's not true. Hey, Agent Walter, what would you like us to do with the body? Wrap it up and send it to the FBI, care of Assistant Director Skinner. <laughs> so they don't know it came off a boat. They just found it here now in a sewage area. He's like, what the fuck is happening? You canceled X, you closed X Files, and now you want me back on this murder case? Like, what's what's going on? Draft that Agent Mulder is demanding to see you. Is there a problem, Agent Mulder? Yeah, there is. I'm making an appointment. Mm-hmm. Damn. Hard to make an appointment when you're up to your ass in raw sewage, Ooh. being jerked from one meaningless society. Excuse me. What's my next punishment? Scrubbing the bathroom floors with a toothbrush? You're way out of line, Agent Ooh. Mulder. So I gathered. <laughs> uh, mm. Fine. Put my office, Agent Mulder, please. Smokey's here. Oh, oh, it's a whole meeting. Agent Mulder, oh. will you please inform the room as to why you regard your homicide case in New Jersey as meaningless? 
Uh, awkward. Certainly, Agent Muller, given your recent history here, you're not one to judge what is or is not a waste of the Bureau's time or manpower. Ooh. Sir, my work on the X blows this episode so far. You will carry out your new assignments and investigate them to the best of your ability. Is that not clear? Yeah. He's not wrong. This is his job he he signed up for. He gets put where he gets put and he has to do what he has to do. Thank you. At least he's actually getting to do a murder case instead of listening to phone calls and in, into a room all day. No. But I should warn you, I'm experiencing violent impulses. <laughs> well, I'm armed, so I'll take my chances. There you go. <laughs> Sometimes it just gets hard to smile through it when they ask you to bend down and grab your ankles, you know? It, mm, I get exactly that. exactly as if you've ever tried to fit into the program. <laughs> True. No, I've been thinking a lot about that lately. I've been thinking about leaving. Oh. Zero? What would you do? Yeah. Pursue my work in the paranormal somehow. How? And make money? You, you could request a transfer to Quantico. Come back to the behavioral science unit? Yeah. They don't walk you together, Scully. And right now, that's the only reason I can think of to stay. Oh. What about this case you're working on? They transferred it to our forensics lab. Look, Scully, I know what you're trying to do. Maybe I can request She's trying to get you autopsy. into this. It's an exercise. So? Skinner is just rubbing my... But what if it's not? What if it's an X file? There's a dead body, isn't there? Yeah. Shouldn't you help the victim? <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's got to smell awful. Examination and autopsy of John Doe, number 101356. How many Case John Does does it get? Damn. Attacked skin is mottled and discolored due to submergence in and exposure to a highly bacterial environment. Yeah. Cause and time unknown. Possible identifying mark oh. on right forearm. Interior organs intact. Consistent in rate of decomposition. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary so far. Removing the rib cage. Ooh. The liver shows some nodular hardening consistent with incipient alcoholism. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, there's something moving. Just don't get that close. Don't get that close. It's gonna jump out. It's gonna jump out. Hmm. Oh, it's strong too. Uh. Gross. Oh, there's probably more down there or something. I don't know. I wouldn't want to be down there. Whatever creature was in the boat, just like laying eggs and people. And there might be more in this water here. Oh, that's a job I would. You would have to pay me so much to do. Should be wearing like, gloves or something. Oh, God. Damn. I knew it was coming, too. What is this creature? Alien octopus. Oh, he's gone. Oh, 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 God. Come on, grab the rope. Oh, it like bit. Oh, it's in, he's infected. He's infected with the creature. Don't leave him alone. If they could come out and grab him again. Fucking hell. I'm gonna give you a tetanus booster just as a precaution. Yeah, fair. Huh? Any trouble swallowing? Uh uh. He also probably drank a good amount of that sewage water, which is in him. Oh. 
I was surprised to hear the FBI was involved. Is there something here I should know? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. Patient is a sanitation worker. Uh -huh. Well, it could be some kind of bacterial infection. Frankly, I can't say I've ever a seen bite. anything like it. Is it like it? the thing getting inside of him? Injection site? This is Agent Mulder at the FBI. Any idea what attacked you? Yeah, I've been thinking it might have been a python. A python? Ooh, what the way she said that needle it. Oh my god. Stronger than hell, I'll tell you that. Clamped onto me like a vice. Almost looks like a bite. Oh, I don't like that. He's infected with whatever this thing is that Scully found. That is not a normal bite, though. Mulder. Mulder, it's me. I need to see you. I've got something here I think you should know about. What is it? Some kind of parasite in your John yep. Doe. I'm having it looked at. Well, I'm up in Jersey. I should be taking the shuttle down in about an hour. When can I get out of here? I'd just like to go home. No, keep a watch out. Scully, this is a bad time for me to talk. Mr. Mulder. Oh, who's this? I think you should know. We're not going to see them. Have a friend at the FBI. Oh. Okay, a new friend. Who is this? That's it. You call just to be like, hey, you got a friend here. Bye. <laughs> Questions, I'm going to release this man. Okay, go ahead. Who's this friend in the FBI? Commonly known as a fluke or flatworm. Oh. This was living inside the body. Yeah. Apparently, it had attached itself to the bile duct and was feeding off the liver. Lovely. Believe it or not, something like 40 million people are infected worldwide. But it can't be that big, right? Some terrible story about sushi, is it? <laughs> what you can catch from a nice rare steak. Ew. So what, the murder weapon was a top sirloin? <laughs> he was a young man. But the weird thing is, there's no other discernible cause of death. How do these parasites... A very strong parasite. They have what's called a scolex. It's a sucker-like mouth with four hooking spikes. Like this? Anything like this? And you're asking me if this is from a fluke? Could it be? It's a big-ass fluke. Mulder, the scolex is a tiny little organ. This is a huge bite mark. That's a baby. How big can these things get? Mulder, I... I'm sorry. <laughs> Felt like old times there for a second. Yeah. Aww. Live inside of the host, entering the body through the ingestion of larvae or eggs. They are not creatures that go around attacking people. Not that you know of anymore. I didn't want to have to tell Skinner that his murder suspect was a giant blood sucking worm. Uh, but it might be. Look, Scully, I don't know who you shared our conversation with the other night, but. I'd prefer it if you didn't try to launch a campaign. What? Are you trying to think she talked to someone and that's why you have the friend of the FBI no, thing? who you talked to. I didn't talk to anybody. Well, somebody called me and told me I had a friend at the FBI. Nothing to do with Scully. Mulder, I, I don't know what to say, but I, I, I wouldn't betray a confidence. Yeah, she, you should trust her. Oh, God, that's so gross. Is it going to take over him? Control him. Oh god, okay. That's enough toothpaste, man. Ew. Oh god, ew. Dude. Just eating toothpaste now. Have some mouthwash. Brush your teeth. Mmm. Something about that really just got my gag reflex. Ew. Mmm. Oh, no. No, not more. Oh. Ew. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's going to the sewer. Oh, God. Bigger than 24 inches. And all the sewage comes through this plant. 560,000 people a day call my office on the porcelain telephone. <laughs> it came from the body they pulled out of the sewer. Wouldn't surprise me. No telling what's been breeding down there in the last hundred years. So gross. 
Oh god. I hate this thing so much. It's so creepy. I don't like snakes. So and I so it's like a slimy snake warm thing. What is it? I don't know. It just swam right past me. There it is. Why are there no lights here? We need more lighting. Oh! Oh god! Oh go! Oh. What the actual hell? The Turbolarian flatworms are free living carnivorous scavengers, usually less than three centimeters. Have they like fused with humans and made evolved in some way? They are hermaphroditic with complex reproductive systems capable of internal fertilization. Many species require more than one host. Next time I go to the set. toilet, I'm going to have to look at it real closely before I do anything. Involvement of the common flukeworm. Oh. Is this the friend from the FBI here? Leaving a little hint hint. There's definitely someone here in the FBI playing some games. Ah, uh, Russian cargo ship. Here we go. Oh, the music. The tattoo. Is it Russian? Scully. Scully, it's me. You know that fluke you caught? Yeah. It must have been the run to the litter. Yeah. <laughs> See it. Where is it? There it is. Tucked away in the far corner behind the pipes. Oh. You can see it from here, but it has no sex organs. It's genderless. Oh. Study how many these are. Mulder, this is amazing. Its vestigial features appear to be parasitic, but it has primate physiology. Yeah. Where the hell did it come from? Mm -hmm. I don't know, but it looks like I'm gonna have to tell Skinner that his suspect is a giant blood-sucking worm after all. Yeah. <laughs> Skinner just be like, "What the hell? How did this become an X file?" Make the connection until I detected that that was the name Dimitri spelled in Cyrillic lettering. How did you make the connection at all? From my friend. This under my door. I guess you really do have a friend in the FBI. Yeah, you both do. I know that it's your decision, but I hope that you know that I'd consider it more than a professional loss if you decided to leave. Aww. Uh, why do we have to go from looking at something so beautiful as Mulder to that thing? Rude. He is looking amazing though. Look at Mulder, like, mm. gotta say it. Everything looks in order. Oh. Okay. Something wrong. Well, that's just an unexpected response, considering the bizarre nature of the case, and of the suspect. <laughs> yeah. The strangeness of the. I had my reaction to them this morning in my conversation with the federal prosecutor's office about how to process the suspect. That is, yeah. Meeting is to evaluate your work. Oh. It's a test. There's no way you'll prosecute this. Yeah, how are you gonna prosecute this creature? The suspect be transferred to an institution for a full psychiatric evaluation. This is not a man. Yeah. It's a monster. Put it in an institution. And what do you do with it, Agent Muller? Put it in a zoo? Put it in a tank. People. Study it. Two. Oh. The sanitation worker who was attacked was uh. found dead in his home as a result of his injury. You know, you had a pair of agents that could have handled a case like this. Yep, you did. Agent Scully and I might have been able to save that man's life, but you shut us down. I know. This should have been an X file. Ooh, he even admits it. Whoa, big step there. We all take our orders from someone, Agent Mulder. That's true. He's not really that in charge. Someone who's... That'll be all. I, that's how I feel why he didn't fire him last episode. 
Because I don't think Skinner believes that they should have shut down the Exiles. He may have not liked Mulder too much, but he doesn't want to shut down the Exiles, but whoever's above him wanted it shut down. Which would mean if he's assistant director, then the director of the FBI, probably. Or the president. That thing is so escaping. It's got oh god. Hell no. I go right by Lake Betty. It's about to jump in the lake. It's gonna jump out, it's gonna jump out. I know it's gonna jump out, and I'm gonna jump anyway. Hmm. Where'd it go? Ceiling, ceiling, look up, look up. Down. Where the hell it go? Don't go in. Don't go in. Do not go in, psycho. Oh, it's all slippy. Oh, it slipped out. Ew. Why would you go in? Get out. Get out. Oh. Yeah. Fish all year round. Yep. We're going to be fishing for this thing. Don't go to the porta potty. Ooh. Mm. No. Just no. I'm never gonna be able to use a porta potty ever again. Oh god, it's just waiting for someone to come. Hell to the no. Oh no, it's gonna get sucked up into this tank. Brought back into the sewage or something. No, 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 no. Capture technically, if we just don't release it into anything. I don't know. We, someone stop that tank. There's the tank right there. He's right there. It's right there, whatever it is. I'm just gonna try to get back underground. Mulder. Mr. Mulder, I'll make you. Oh. Success in your current assignment is imperative. Oh. Who am I speaking to? Yeah. Are you is this? Me, Mr. What? So don't succeed this, something bad's gonna happen? Imperative. Reinstatement of the X Files oh. must be undeniable. Oh, so this person wants the X Files back open, and this case is the way to do it? Or is a step there in that direction? Roger. What if he's on the tanker truck? Yep, I just picked it up. Stop before it gets put into the sewage. He will be. And every tanker dumps its load here. It's a state law. And everything is processed through this plant? Yep. So no we could stop it while it's here. Well, the system's full of enough filters and screens that nothing much bigger yeah. than your little finger's gonna get through. So it's, here. it's trapped there somewhere. We trapped here. Yeah. I guess all we can do is wait. Yeah. It's creepy that just hiding in the sewage somewhere. Oh, this is not the episode for me. Getting some porta potty again. I don't know if I can have seafood for the next couple days at least. Every time I go to the bathroom, it's gonna be quite scary. The treatment plant. I was playing a hunch it might have gotten back into the system. How? Forget it. It's stupid. 
Well, you're not gonna like what I have to tell you. What? It hadn't occurred to me, but I think that the fluke in the corpse might have been an incubating larva. Oh. This creature or emitting its eggs or larvae through its bite. Yeah. You mean it's trying to reproduce? It's looking for hosts. It attacks be Mulder. Yeah. If it finds a new host. I know Skelly. Yeah, not good. Oh, Agent they found Mulder. it. He got in a section of pipe. Where? Here. That's near where we found the first body. Right. Is he trying to get back to its babies or something? Overflow system that dumps into the harbor during heavy rainfall. That must be where it got into the system. Oh. Uh. It's working its way back out to sea. Yep. We don't need. We can't get let, let it go to sea. I do not want to go back down there. Oh, Although she's a ruin for life. Oh, the smell must be. I can imagine. Oh. Careful. Be careful. Oh, oh, no. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh no. Oh god, he's going in. Oh no, 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 no. Don't you dare get bitten, Mulder. Shoot it, shoot it. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Right now. Do not try to grab it. Do not touch it. Shoot it. Don't stab it. Do it. Oh, cool. There you go. There you go. Oh, God. The scream, though. Oh. Oh. I don't know if I'll be able to have tap water ever again and use it in any cooking or anything because of this episode. Is he mm. taken? No. But I should warn you, I may reek a bit of the sewer. You. Success in our work is imperative, Scully. Reinstatement of the X-Files must be undeniable. That came from Skinner? No. Someone else. We have a friend in the FBI. Yeah. Someone who wants X-Files open cross-trading, resulting in a sort of quasi-vertebrate human. Yeah, human? interesting. Yes, but still capable of spontaneous It like fused with human DNA. How does that happen? Radiation, abnormal oh. cell fusion, dozen of natural genetic processes. So, no Mother idea. Nature didn't make this thing. Someone made it. We did. Oh. Who though, Russia? Came on a Russian ship. I know these. Oh. These are from Chernobyl. Oh. Creature came off of a decommissioned yeah. Russian crater that was used in the dump. It was born in a in a primordial soup of radioactive sewage. Oh, that's so gross and cool at the same time. You know, they say three species disappear off the planet every day. Wow. You wonder how many new ones are being created. Yeah, true, too. Yeah. Is the sewage plant the guy, though, who's bitten? Is he, it's still got, he's got a woman in him, right? Oh, there's still one. This little baby out there. The one that the one guy spit out in the shower. Oh, God. 
another one. Oh, this is going to come back to bite us in the ass at some point. It's so fucking creepy. The teeth, the eyes. So fucking gross. This episode really tested my stomach. Ooh. Very happy I watched it in the morning, not after lunch. That would have really ruined the day. Ooh. Well, at least we know that Mulder and Scully have a friend in the FBI who want the X-Files back open. That's something, whoever this person is. They're helping out. Seems to be helping out more than the other guy from last season. Actually giving some hints and clues and stuff. So it's something. It seems like assistant director Skinner does kind of believe the X in the X-Files, but has no power to control whether it's open or not, so... It's intriguing. That's why he didn't fire him last episode. Hmm. Mulder and Scully are finding a way to still work together. I love that. They may not... She Scully might not be in the field or anything, but she's doing all the scientific work and helping him figure out stuff, so I'm happy with that. At least they're working somewhat together in some way. Okay, so now we got to this part where I'm going to share my little own sewage story. Ugh. So, my grandparent when I was younger, this was when... I want to say I was in high school. Um... My, parent, my grandparents uh, lived in New Jersey. That's where my mom and her siblings all grew up. And they didn't have a sewage system. In the middle of nowhere in New Jersey. Farmland. No sewage system. They just have um, whatever that thing is called where it holds all the sewage. It's gross and creepy. Never want to have one. But um, at some point at like 3 a.m. when I was staying there, it was me, my grandparents, and my one aunt. We were staying the night there. And, of course, at like 3, 4 a.m., the sewage burst. It's not good. I get woken up in the middle of the night. I was fast asleep, feeling so good, just relaxed. It was nice. And I get woken up and I have to put on some of those big boots just like Mulder had to wear and go down to the basement where there was a solid, like, this much. It was a lot. It was like almost a foot of sewage. Oh, it was so gross. And at that point, my grandpa and grandma, very old, sickly, we were constantly going to watch them and, like, family was going to visit just to, like, make sure to be with them and someone was around and saying hi and all that. So they couldn't really do anything. So it was me and my aunt who had to put on these boots. Um, I was in, like, shorts and short sleeves. It was summertime. And I just remember having to get the wet vac, sucking up all the liquid and everything. We sucked up all the liquid, yet there was not just liquid left. So, if you guys don't like this kind of talk, please just skip by this. But there were, there was poop. Just put it right out there. There was tons of poop all around the basement floor. So we were left with that after we sucked up all the liquid. And that was hours. It was hours of sucking up the liquid until we finally got there. It was like 7 a.m. when we got the poop pieces because it was a big basement. Luckily, it was all like concrete and everything down there, unfinished. But it was gross. And my aunt and I, at that point, a couple hours in, very little sleep, coming a little senile. We were going a little crazy. So we were like, this is disgusting. It smells awful. We smell awful. We made fun of it, though. We decided to make a game out of it, and we got this old hockey stick that was there. My aunt got a trash bag, put it in the trash can, put it on the ground, and we decided to make a hockey game out of it. I know, it sounds so gross, but it was. It, we had to make something out of it to make it a little more fun than it was, because it was not. And we had already lost our mind after hours of this, no, little to no sleep, just a couple hours of being asleep, and it was the gross thing, so we... Mostly me played hockey with it and shot it into the trash cans. All the poop. And then one, that was that took a while itself just to get a handle of doing that. Because knowing it was like all poop, all grandparents poop. God knows how long it's been there. Gross, gross, gross. In every single way. Luckily, I think by like 9 or 10 a.m. we finally finished. We had to like clean the floors to scrub the hell out of them. 
and all the stuff that got wet we had to like take out outside to like dry and clean it was just lots of just got thrown away that's the point where we were like no there's no you're not getting the scent out of like this old wooden chair half of it was submerged it's it's a goner it was truly one of the grossest nights of my life and this episode truly um brought me back to it i had a little ptsd there with the boots going to the sewage the smell in the mouth this how you're supposed to like if you breathe through your mouth it's not as bad on no that's a lie it's bad no matter what there's no making it better you just have to leave your body a little bit and pretend you're not there get delusional and then afterwards just try and forget about it as much as possible we rarely talk about it it's a very thing we it bonded us but we're like we also don't discuss it we just know we've gone through this together and I believe we treated ourselves to a really nice lunch that day. Many, many showers. I felt so disgusting. I took a shower afterwards. I took a shower like after we ate lunch because I still felt gross and I shower that night too. And I washed my clothes like over and over. I was like, this is gross. I washed out my grandparents. I washed it again before we left. And then I washed it when I got home and I was like, I don't even know what I was wearing, but I know I'm pretty sure I did not wear those clothes again. It was gross. Gross, gross, gross. But yeah, that was my little story. Hope you guys enjoyed. I didn't. <laughs> but this was a fun episode overall. I, I'm just happy that Mulder and Scully were working together and that they have someone on their side in the FBI, at least. That's something I'm happy for that. We They need that. And hopefully that means the X-Files will open up in a couple episodes after doing a some more cases. Hopefully. We'll see. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed my reaction. Don't forget to go check out Patreon. Link down below in the description box. And I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye.